What's up guys, Lang Whitaker here from Grind City Media and I asked on Twitter, what do you guys want to do for cooking with Lang? And a couple of people said, can you do a lamb recipe? So this week we're going to do lamb. You can get it these days at the grocery store. It's pretty easy to get anywhere. It's delicious and it's super easy to make. So we're going to make an easy lamb recipe. I'm going to do it. You do it with me. Okay, this is Cooking with Lang. We're doing lamb. Let's go. Today we are making lamb. If we're gonna cook lamb, you gotta get some lamb. So you can buy lamb these days at pretty much any grocery store, all sorts of different cuts, chops, loins. Um, sometimes even at the big supermarket, they have just leg, boneless leg of lamb, which is 20, 30 bucks. Walmart has actually really good lamb. This lamb I got from a uh, farmer, Mr. Rhodes, up in Salisbury, Tennessee, has beautiful lamb. These are chops. Uh, you can see like different kind of cuts. There's some bone still in there. There's a bone there. There's still a lot of nice fat in there. It looks gorgeous. So the first thing you gotta do is we're gonna dry them off as best we can. I got a paper towel. I'm just gonna press down and try and get them dry. I already did the other side. Then we're gonna season them and then we're gonna cook them. It's pretty easy, right? The best combination ever is lamb and rosemary. Even better than steak and rosemary. So I'm getting this rosemary chopped up as finely as I can. And we're gonna season the lamb with this rosemary. Almost like, almost like a powder, almost like salt or something like that. So let's do this first half of the lamb. Do about half this rosemary. Just putting it on each piece, a little bit. Then this lamb's gonna be really tasty and good. So I don't wanna put too much stuff on it. So I'm just gonna do lamb, rosemary, a little bit of garlic powder, just a little hit, a little bit of black pepper. and a little bit of kosher salt. Do a nice little shower of that. Finishing the second side, just getting a little pepper. And we're gonna do one more salt shower on here. So it's nice and flavorful. And that's it. Now you could cook this on the grill. It's pretty fatty. I'm just gonna cook it in a pan. Might smoke up the house a little bit, but it's gonna be worth it. We wanna get a really nice crust on it and nice and rare in the middle. Pan is gonna be ripping hot and pouring a little oil in there. You can see it's shimmering right away. So it's hot. We're gonna do two batches, I think, because if you did it all at once, it'll just bring down the temperature of the pan and won't really give it that sear you're trying to get on it. So let's do uh, like two of the big ones and a couple of the small ones at the same time. And you have the good sizzle right away. And now we're not gonna touch it. We're gonna let it just sit there and go for about two or three minutes and then we'll check it and give it a flip, but don't touch it, just let it go. In two and a half minutes, let's check these out. They should have a nice sear on the bottom. Yeah, look at that. So we're just gonna flip them over. Almost a crust. We're gonna try and find any places that need a little more color, right? Like there's fat on the edges of it, look at that. So I'm gonna kind of turn it up on the side, lean it against the edge of the pan if you need to. This one probably can use a little bit of help down there. This one needs some color on that end. Go down there with some fat in the pan. Use the pan to your advantage. So these probably need three more minutes and we're gonna be done and we'll move on to the next batch. So three more minutes, these guys are coming out of the pan. I'm just gonna put them in this plate, let them rest a little bit. And a lot of the fat has rendered off of these and is in this skillet, so we're gonna use that to cook the second batch of lamb. And I know it's kind of smoky in here. It's one of the good little side benefits of cooking meat. Uh, I'm gonna wipe up whatever's left in this pan with the meat. Go right back there into this hot pan. Give it like three minutes. Don't touch it, leave it alone. Taking off the last batch of these lamb chops. And you can't eat hot meat like this anyway, so we're gonna let it sit for about five or 10 minutes. Kind of get a little closer to room temperature before we cut into it. And I'm gonna make a quick sauce to go with it. While the lamb cools off, I'm gonna make a quick sauce gonna help kind of cut through the lamb and nothing goes better with lamb than mint. 
So I got a bunch of mint, a bunch of parsley from out back. I'm just gonna use my knife and give them a really quick, I'm just gonna put them all even together. Just a quick, fine chop like this. I don't wanna use the food processor because it'll beat them up and kind of make it mushy. This will have a nice texture to it. Just going through it. It's kind of a salsa verde sauce we're making. Then all that will go in the bowl. Best we can. I'm gonna put, give it a little bit of spice. One garlic clove. This is one of these garlic smasher things that I got and I use it once every two weeks. It's a nice little luxury, but it's fun. Um, it's gonna crunch it up really nice and small because you don't wanna get big hunks of garlic in there. Then, chili flake. Give it a little kick. Pinch of salt. Last two things, vinegar. This is uh, apple cider vinegar, red wine vinegar, white vinegar, any kind you want would work. I like the taste of apple cider vinegar. It's about a tablespoon of it. And then olive oil. And I'm just gonna kind of stir it in, make it make a nice, loose salsa, almost a chimichurri type thing. Let's sit there for a second. It's gonna be nice and bright and give a lot of flavor to kind of complement our lamb as we eat it. Okay, time to eat. I'm gonna get one of these lamb chops. I see the bone there, there's a little bone there. So I'm gonna try and kind of cut along that bone right there. There we go. Piece of the lamb right there. It's medium on the inside, looks gorgeous, nice and pink. So I'm just gonna cut a couple slices and use this sauce right on top of there. Let's go, you ready? So good. It's kind of like steak, but lamb tastes different than steak. Kind of gamey, really nice taste. You get the rosemary, the salt, the pepper, and then the herby sauce with all the garlic and the parsley and the mint and the vinegar. It is so good. Lamb is so easy to make. You should make lamb. I just made lamb. You can make it. Let's do it together. Let's cook it with lamb. See you next time.